Hello everyone, I am your humble host, the Space Cowboy. Wanted to apologize for taking so long to get the VR thing going up again. Life sometimes doesn't care about what you want to do for fun, so it is what it is. I'm going to take this moment to say thank you to my latest subscriber, someone who, from what they told me, is all the way from Korea. So that's awesome. Um, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. I really appreciate it. And I appreciate everyone that watches this, subscribes to the channel, or shares these videos. So um, I'm just very grateful that um, I'm making stuff that people enjoy, for the most part. So without further ado, as everyone says, let's get started. This is Table of Tales. Um, it's basically a story type, you know, choose your, choose how things work kind of adventure. Let's see where our tale will take us. Yeah? All right. Here we go. Let's see what each one says. Enjoy the story experience this without focusing on combat. Uh, the intended way to play Table of Tales. Advanced combat challenge for experienced players. And go back to the main menu. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at our background. It looks like we are in an attic, some form. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that's the door and I'm not just some kid who's living in his attic with, you know, being fed bread and water or whatever. This is from Aunt Moira. Hey, little magpie. Not so little now, I guess. If you're reading this, it's been a long time. I'm sorry I didn't get to see you again before. Well, you're grown up now. Before I passed away, the solicitor just wanted me to list this with the other items. But I knew you'd appreciate something more personal. Besides, I left you something special. You'll find it in the attic. Look for the key. Go figure it out. With love and adventure, Aunt Moira. Thank you, Auntie Moira. We've never met, but I could feel your heartfelt uh, feelings towards your niece so got the key let us begin oh hello Hi. there oh my feels like i've been asleep for years mm. oh, i broke it i suppose you're wondering what this is all about I remember your aunt being just as surprised. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Arbitrix. I well am the master of the table and a prodigious teller of tales. Ooh. And you, my friend, are about to embark upon quite the adventure. I All hope right. you're ready. Oh, I'm ready. Let's do this. The storm came out of nowhere. The ship is on its way back to the biggest port in the Crown's Islands. Its voyage has been a success. The substantial treasure on deck was, let's say, acquired by four scoundrels who hired the ship for their Ooh, venture. So we're... Who are they, you ask? Yeah. Pick them up and see for yourself. This is Hammer. A violent thug who's really good at solving problems with her ironclad fists. Hang on. If you want to know more about a scoundrel, place them on one of the plinths on the table edge near you. Oh, they're moving. Oh, okay. Health, defense, power, move. Thomas Turlinger, the apothecary. A genius of experimental potions with a rather questionable clientele. Uh -oh. Introducing Horatio Nine Lives, the thrice blessed. <laughs> the swindler came up with that name himself. This one calls herself Nuna. Don't ask where she got her heretical and very illegal powers of dark sorcery. Ruh -ruh. As the storm swells, Captain Frost abandons the wheel. As her there at the rail shouting nonsense into the wind. The crew aren't happy. They've bewitched the captain, yells first mate Barnabas. And brought this storm upon us. What? We must take the ship for ourselves. 
This is mutiny. A band of heroes would try and talk the crew around, but these are scoundrels. The best way they know to end a mutiny is to put it <gasps> down. Hard. You don't mean... Time to fight. Oh, boy. Each turn, you must spend all your yellow power pips to move, attack, or rest in order to defeat your My foes. power pips? My power pips? Kind of like that. Okay, let's start with you. Move your scoundrel next to a phone. If you move too far, you'll begin to expend their power oh, pips. Oh, I don't want to use up the power pips. Don't want to use up the power pips. Attack, attack an area, attack range. For itself. Play this card on a foe within range to expend power pips and attack. <laughs> One of the remaining crew comes up from below to join the fight. These are my power pips. Oh, I did. Okay. Uh, you next. Oh, I thought I knocked the thing over. I was like, ew. Beeping strike. Alright. Oh, there's two more coming. Mm, I guess I only have it looks like one power pip left. Play this card to expend the rest of your power pips and fortify your scandal. Okay. I'm trying, but it won't let me. Right, there we go. I'm gonna go for this guy. Last! Another sailor comes on deck. I don't know. Looks like the whole crew is in on the mutiny. Good. The scoundrels will have to defeat them all. That's a lot, though. Seems a little weak, if you ask me. Oh, this guy still got juice left. Oh, he's got two power pips left. Okay. <gasps> Rude. Oh, jerk. Oh no. Hey, you need to relax, man. He's on my power pips. Did. Puncher. Puncher again. The ship's cook appears. Cook. Cleaver in hand. Not to cook. That's all the sailors accounted for. The fight is nearly done. Hang in there. But I love, I love his clam chowder. Oh, Cookie, don't make me do this to you. Oh, no. Bye. Is it? Oh, okay. <laughs> Come on, get him. Oh, no. Okay, power pips. Cookie, this is nothing personal. Uh oh, one of your scoundrels has lost all their health. They can't do anything unless someone revives them. Okay. Oh, I see. I don't know if that speaks. Poorly of me that I'm at the prologue and <laughs> I already lost somebody. Can I take the captain for being dumb. No 
I'm gonna do? Can't. Never mind. No. All right, two power pips done. Let's see if I can get something going here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Can attack the captain. I guess not. And I guess I'll start using my power pips, but that's all I can do. It's gonna be. Oh no, stop picking on me! There we go. Much better. Okay. Punch him. Punch him again. You defeated the mutineers. But you still need to regain control of this ship. There is a lot going wrong, and all your scoundrels will need to pitch in if they want any hope of surviving this, this storm. Try to choose the best scoundrel for each task. The more stars they contribute, the better. Place them on the skill checks and see for yourself. The captain has Four, abandoned three, the wheel. Someone three, strong needs to steer the ship two. through this storm. The mast is creaking okay. ominously. Someone fast needs to climb the rigging and trim those yeah. sails. The yeah. rope is about to snap. Yeah. Better get someone smart to tie a better I'm trying. Knot. Captain Frost is waving that I am trying. with a mad gleam in her eye. Someone needs to talk sense to her. The captain has abandoned the wheel. Someone strong needs to steer the ship through this storm. The mast is creaking ominously. Someone fast needs to climb the rigging and trim those sails. The rope is about to snap. Better get someone smart to tie a better knot. Captain Frost is waving that pistol around with a mad gleam in her eye. Okay. Someone okay. needs to talk sense Got to it. her. The rope is about to snap. Better get someone smart to tie a better knot. The mast is creaking. Oh, honestly. I see what I'm getting. Someone fast needs to climb the rigging and trim those sails. Captain Frost is waving that pistol around with a mad gleam in her eye. Ooh. Someone needs to talk. If I had something like this her. in my house. I would be playing it all the time. Ominously, someone fast needs to climb the rigging and trim those sails. The mast is creaking ominously. Someone fast needs to climb the rigging and trim those sails. Play this card on the skill check to attempt it. Take and roll the die to find out if you succeed. And then the rabbit goes back into his hole. Yes, they did it. The cannon's not going anywhere. <laughs> oh, that was close. All right. They Success. They strained against the wheel and managed to hold on, steering clear of the worst of the storm. She lowers her gun. The storm. I heard it calling out to me, my ship. Save my ship. Or at least die trying. Something was influencing her. Something in the storm. But there's no time to worry about that. Okay. Oh, success! They nimbly climbed up and trimmed the sails, slowing the ship and saving the mast. Ooh. Well done! You've done all you can for now. The ship's as safe as it can be. And just as well as a giant wave is about to roll over the deck. Brace for impact! <laughs> I've always wanted to say mm. that. Unfortunately for these scoundrels, there are only enough safe handholds left for three people. One of them is going to be washed overboard. The question is, which one? It's up to you who fails to hang on. Once you've made your decision, pick them up. And throw them over what? Them. What? <laughs> I what? I gotta, I gotta lose one of my people from the get go. She's strong. Strength is important. He can kind of buff people and has his own attacks. That's cool. I wasn't really impressed with this guy's ability. He has black magic. Sorry, homie. Gone. Deep beneath the waves. Only three scoundrels left. Knowing them, their first thought is that this means a larger share of the That's treasure. Up. There's no time to mourn or celebrate. You've survived. 
but your ship's badly damaged. Yes? And you're not alone. Looks good. To me. That's the sunfish, the personal vessel of Solomon Sanko, governor of the Crown Islands. Oh. Ooh, he's taken a batter in from the storm. Though <laughs> it's still in better condition than your poor ship. Wait, those those aren't sailors. They're orcs. orcs. The most feared pirates in these seas. The governor and his captain are tied up on the deck. The orcs clearly don't want you interfering with their plans. Prepare to be boarded. Oh, okay. Oh, we're fighting again? Okay, back to back. Let's do this. <laughs> you did it! The scoundrels free Governor Sanko, who is very grateful, mm -hmm. and Captain Starlin, who is embarrassed he wasn't able to escape his bonds in time to help. Womp womp. Your ship's in no shape to sail. You should come with us to the capital. Offers the governor. <laughs> All right. You are here. The governor's right. Your storm-battered oh, vessel is headed to the bottom of the ocean. It seems the scoundrels have no choice but to bring their precious treasure aboard the sunfish. Excellent, says the governor. Take the cabin next to mine. When we get to Half Arch, you shall be properly rewarded for your bravery. <laughs> Alright, cool. Now we're gone. Right there. Cool. Half Arch, capital and largest city of the Crown Islands. Home to fishers, traders, smugglers, artisans, privateers, and scoundrels. Ooh. Come with me. Okay. Insists Solomon Sanko, hey. the oh. governor is determined to make good on his promise. Later that day, after a feast in his estate, the, the governor surprises the scoundrels with something they never thought they'd experience. Fame and glory. All hail the heroes of Half Arch! Thomas Turlinger, brilliant apothecary dedicated to helping others. This is Hammer, warrior of true conviction and strength. Nuna the Wise, who protects us with mysterious powers. Unfortunately, our heroes can't stay for long, so let's drink in their honor. Without further ado, let us begin the hero's celebration. Where's the confetti coming from? Like, do they got just people throwing stuff from the rooftops? And hammer, do it. Ah, it's the heroes. Leaving already. That's a shame. May we meet again in equally joyful circumstances. Captain Starlin says before excusing himself. I hope you had a pleasant evening. The heroes of Half Arch are always welcome in this city, says the governor before he's called back into the hall. After a round of farewells, the scoundrels slip away. Though they've lost one of their number, they've gained a second chance. They agree to split the treasure equally and go their separate ways. And with that, the treasure chest is empty and our scoundrels... Ooh, I mean, heroes go their separate ways, vowing to put their scoundrel days behind All them. Right. And they did. Well, at least for some time. All right. Governor's ship rescued from brutal orc raiders. Hammer. The farrier. And the storm returns. What does it mean? Thomas, the apothecary. Alchemist Guild launches new flagship. Il Navy Star. Nuna, wise woman. Governor Sanko renews popular gunpowder ban. Seventh anniversary of last orc raid. Is there necromantic menace? Over! Solomon Sankro re-elected in landslide. Most popular governor of the world. Table of Tales. Seven years later. S 
Seven years is a long time. It certainly is. Long enough to build a whole new, quieter life. Mm -hmm. Tonight, the scoundrels return to Half Arch for the first time since that day. That's a very convenient. Over here. It's Governor Sanko. Quickly, we may be watched. <gasps> a figure darts from the shadows and stabs no! the governor. This is very bad. You must find out why the governor summoned you. Wait, what? <laughs> Are his legs splayed the right way? What, falling down? I feel like this is a very family guy type of fall that this guy is doing. <laughs> the governor is barely conscious and gravely wounded. Your scoundrel tends to him as best they can. A city watch patrol. This is not good timing. More city watch. They must have heard something while on guard duty on the west dock. That's not good either. And then there's the governor's mysterious assailant. They're getting away. Three problems. And only two of you left. Make a choice, quick. Perhaps your scoundrel can talk the officers into heading back to their post before they spot the governor's body. Come on, Come on let's do this. Your scoundrel acts drunk and begins a long, boring story about tripping over crates. The guards make excuses and leave quickly. <laughs> Your scoundrel watches them go, noticing they are guarding a ship on the that's west awesome. docks. Oh, there's a ship over here. Okay, that seems important. Right, let's do this. I just need one. Just give me one. Your scoundrel lifts and strains, but the bar is just too Are you heavy. Serious? The city watch has spotted them. Better prepare for a fight. Thomas's potion revives the governor, but as he wakes, he sees the apothecary. He spits it out and bats the vial away. <laughs> no, I don't want medicine from a criminal like what? you. Oh, yes. I know what, what? you did. What all of you did. And soon everyone else will too. Wait. And with a final splutter, he dies. A quick search of the governor turns up a map of the islands with several locations marked, each one horribly familiar to one of the scoundrels. No time to wonder what the governor's words or map mean. The city watch have seen the scoundrels with his dead body. You'll have to fight them off. I cannot believe it. Three of the- I couldn't get just one. I couldn't get one to close the gate. You fought off the watch! But it's only a matter of time before more come to investigate the commotion. You need to get out of Half Arch, and that means you need a ship. Okay. At the East Docks is the governor's ship, the Sunfish. He doesn't need it anymore. But there are plenty across the Crown who'll recognize it, for good or ill. And it's where that assassin went. The scoundrels don't recognize the ship at the West Docks. The guard probably means captured pirate or smuggler. Maybe good for laying low, but who knows who owns it. Whichever one you're going to take, now's the time to choose. You know what? Let's get crazy. Let's take the governor's ship. The Sunfish has been restored to its former glory since the storm seven years ago. Captain Starling is still in command. Or should be. Instead, he slumped against those crates. Unconscious. He's dead? The assassin is here. And has friends. Oh, let's do this, son. No time for niceties. These assassins mean business. Maybe Starling can help you, if you can bring him round. Captain Starling stands God. groggily. You. Thanks for your help, again. Let's deal with these gallows, monkeys. Uh, then we'll talk. Ah, wow, he's smashed. The last of the robed figures vanishes in a bolt of lightning, just like the others. The sunfish is yours for the taking. But the mystery has only deepened. Starling wants answers. Is the governor safe? He was supposed to be meeting with you. The scoundrels explain what happened, and that they need a ship to find the killers and clear their names. Oh, I should have known something was wrong. That's twice I've failed to protect Governor Sanko. Come on, the watch won't be far away. We have a fair wind. Lose the topsails. 
Once clear of the docks, the scoundrels examine the map they found on the... The marked Oops. locations are places from each scoundrel's past. A past they had hoped to leave behind. All right. I am going to stop right here before we move on. Um, that was crazy. <laughs> that was very fun, though. I did enjoy that quite a bit. So I'll be doing more of this until we complete their three quests. And we'll see the, the fantastic finale. Sound good to you? Yeah? What do you think? Yeah? Okay. <laughs> well, thank you for watching. Share, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, hit that little bell to be notified when more of these go up. Um, I'm going to do my best to try to push out more of these uh, more, more often. But uh, life is a little unpredictable, so we will we'll see how that goes. Really, thank you very much. Have a good one. I'm the Space Cowboy. I'll see you next time. Take it easy, and hasta luego.